Oh, God. You look... Te um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you... Oh, I look terrible. Does he make that reaction? If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. God help us. Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been She's a very sassy. Time. I love her. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be playing Portal 2. Uh, previously, we were playing Portal Revolution, which is a mod for this game and act as a prequel to this. The story between Portal 2 and Portal Revolution is unrelated, as was evident by the end of Portal Revolution. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, I'll link it uh, in the description down below. I have uh, previously played this game at least two times. Each time you play it, it's a fresh experience nonetheless. So without further ado, let's get started. Well, since I have completed the chapter, I guess I can play it chapter by chapter. Uh, some of you might not have actually played Portal 2 uh, uh, prior to this or may not be aware of its story. So I decided I should play Portal 2 as well along with playing Portal Revolution. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, Look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, Just like beginning down at the floor. of the game, uh, getting us familiar with the uh, controls and the such. This is portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. This is corporate. Good. Now please return to your mental goal. wellness. Well, this is what will happen if corporate entities get to control our health as well as our finances. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 Good, looking good actually. Are you okay? How are you? Oh, oh I look terrible. Just my that reaction. Fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm, stay, stay calm, prepare. It's all the same, prepare. It's all fine, all right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? He is the funniest script I've ever written, in my opinion. Most test subjects oh. do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. Love but this don't joke. be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay. What you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay. You know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. 
Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? I've got enough space. Uh, just, just got to. I have several seconds to ram into this. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hear that one. I hear that one. Corporate AI is gonna be such a weird okay, thing. Listen, it's gonna be funny and straight, right? scary if at the same asks, time. And no one's gonna ask, don't worry. But if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're gonna need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. I'd say docking station right there. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Okay. Uh, I'm I was wrong. A manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost That's there. Remember, it's just like this, the just ramming thing that you the other things. This time. Well, there we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet, but um, at least you're a good jumper. So, you got that, got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. Good luck. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. You don't actually need to know the story of Portal 1 in order to play Portal 2. Human they actually testing tell us. An important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Yeah, he was supposed to say something, but he didn't say it. I guess the game glitches out at some certain points if you solve it fast enough. Uh, in no way, shape, or form, I'm going to be attempting a speed run. The state of logo is also uh, reflective of the state of the mat. testing you facility. Must. Lie on your back and apply immediate pressure to your templates. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. I've done this many times and still forget like which <laughs> buttons I need to actually press. Well, by many times I only meant like two or three times, but I think I still should remember like what am I supposed to do here. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. So well, basically you just don't keep doing tests until or unless someone comes by and frees you off your duties. Which means you can end up being dead unless you if the Earth is currently governed it. by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Hey, you made it! There should be a, a portal device on. Oh! Hello? Can you 
say the portal gun? Also, are you alive? That's important. Should have asked that first. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wake you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, I'm back, and assuming I can locate the dead body, I'll bury you. All right? Brilliant. Go team! See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. Just like blitzing past through these places, but actually you can um, find some collectibles or like uh, achievements hidden in here. I might have found some of them, but I'm pretty sure. Some emergency find testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. <sighs> this is like highlights the scary life of well, corporate and military AIs, which lies in store for us as AI gets better. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. We are just going to be experiencing like the basics of this game now, for the time being. Great work! Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. I know I have solved this before, but I don't remember how. Okay, this stick is right here. Okay, that thing is supposed to be some sort of uh, uh, extra, extra or like an achievement or something like that. It's hard to tell when the level is over or not at the beginning. If the enrichment center is currently not. being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space. Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Okay, I need something to put down here. Where do I get the cube? Well done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. 
all aperture science personality constructs will remain functional oh. in apocalyptic low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. I think this thing was to make the uh, spark this up so we can stop the cube from getting the water. I clearly don't remember everything. Even though I've played the game multiple times. Alright, let's This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. God help us in If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Hearing yeah, the oh, water music makes me so happy, man. So many good memories of this game. Either that or I guess just like nostalgia plays a part in everything, I guess. Okay, this thing needs to go over there, so I need to jump across that thing. This needs to be here, so. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Well, each corporate entity wants the best for itself in order to make sure it's getting uh, its money's worth, I think. But I guess everyone, sing every single one of us is like that. I do capitalism or because that's the human nature work. All safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the... Do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right? On the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Okay, jump off. Two. Three. That's high. It's it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me. Ow. I... I'm not dead! I'm not dead! <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a okay, second? Okay, now give you your privacy. All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Right while your back was turned. Pick me up. Well, let's get out of here. And off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go! Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we can want. Can I drop him off? Hold on, then. where are we then? No. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. Oh, no. 
Yes, hello, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. Love the time they are so cute. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. If you want to just call it quits, we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there. And if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. OK, I'm going to lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. Don't, she, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. This is glad Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down here? You're not going to believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch him. Okay, down these stairs. Jump! This, I, ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Ah! I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. I just now realised that I used to rely on my management rail to not fall into bottomless pits. In a way, you're my rail now, and you can fall into a bottomless pit. And I'm rambling now, out of fear, but here's the point. Don't get too close to the edge. I mean, there are railings around me, so I guess I would be this falling down. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other That's things. That's so many oh, suggestions. You here. understand. Can you I see like it anywhere? Proper look I can't at see it, it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's uh, God. It's quoting God. Oh, look at that. Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now, escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. OK. OK, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh-oh. Power up initiated. OK, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I, can, I can still stop And that'll switch up. Uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. OK, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. A A A A A. Um, that's not just hacking. That's just uh, making guesses. A A A A A. Wait, did I do beat the general ten? Start writing these. Power up, complete. I don't. Okay, okay, okay. Listen. All right, new plan. Act natural. Act natural. Nothing. Hello. Oh, it's you. You know her. It's been She's a very long sassy. time. I love her. How have you been? I've been really busy. No. After you murdered me. You did what? Uh. Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, 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 no! Okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science. You monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. And I guess that must be end of chapter one. Uh, I think it was called Rude Awakening, and I guess it was Awakening of GLaDOS, who is a murderous AI who loves testing, uh, because that's what she was designed to do. Do something as I'm not going to print fall damage and here we are. The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing just like old time. Well, I thought this was the end of chapter one. Apparently, it's still going. Uh, 
of this stone. Here we are, the incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. There it is. Hold on. There. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Here. Let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you've done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. So, as you can see, she's extremely pissed. I hope this is the end of the chapter. Uh, either do like two chapters in one shot or we'll punch them together. The cold boot. And that marks the end of chapter one. And I'm still going to be recording the second chapter. Uh, here, here on itself, but uh, I will be using the two videos separately. Do let me know what you felt about this chapter or other games you want me to play. So, uh, someone suggested Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Uh, I'll try to get, uh, uh, I haven't played the Black Flag, I think. I'll try to get it uh, if there's a Steam sale uh, coming by or if it's on a sale or something. Uh, but uh, right up to that, I'm uh, trying to get Hollow Knight, uh, which is uh, like another side scrolling platform which I have my eyes set on for quite some time uh, so anyway uh, do like share and subscribe let me know what you felt about the video and see you in the next see you guys next time